Congratulations, your makers have made thousands of apps, but how will the right users find them? Today I'm going to show you three ways to list your apps on the Office App Launcher or on myapps.microsoft.com, today on PowerCat Live. So the first thing we're going to do is do this as an office administrator. And so what this is going to do is it's going to list the app at the top, like this one, admin selected apps. And I've already got an app up there. We're going to be working with this app here. This is my Bigfoot tracker app to, I did earlier in the video series to show dynamic SVGs. And I'm logged into admin.microsoft.com, the M365 admin portal. And I'll click on org settings, organizational profile and then custom app launcher tiles. It's gonna ask for a few basic things. So we'll add a custom tile here and we're gonna say this is our Bigfoot tracker. We need the URL of the website. So I'm gonna take the player URL of the app and then the tile image. And this is a 60 by 60 pixel icon that will be used. And I've got one here that I've uploaded to GitHub. So I'm just gonna take that out. And then a description, we'll say, find your Sasquatch. And then we'll save it. And so that should be within a few seconds available to any users. So we can check by going to another user. So let's bring up Megan's window. And we'll refresh here. And we can see now when she chooses the Office Launcher, we'll go to All Apps. We'll see under admin selected apps, she's got the Bigfoot tracker. And as soon as she uses it the first time, then that becomes pinned to her start as well. So we come back here now and look at her app launcher menu. We see now Bigfoot tracker is in her list of apps. And she can also uh, choose to uh, uh, pin or unpin it here as well. And she can pin it directly without even launching it. Now the next two methods of showing an app, both require Azure Active Directory admin access and a premium subscription. And to start both, we need to register an enterprise application. And this is gonna to map to our Power App. And so I'll start this by creating a new application. And then we're gonna do a create your own. And I'm gonna call this my Bigfoot Hunter, or my Bigfoot Hunters app, yeah. And then we'll do this last option, non-gallery. And now we need to assign users and groups. These are the groups that will have access to this application. I've already shared this application with the security group. I can use that same security group here to control who's gonna see access to, in this case, just the icon. But you'd wanna make sure those are synced because this doesn't share the app. All right, let's go back to overview. Now here on overview, we wanna set one other thing and this is the single sign-on. And this is where we're gonna put the URL for our app. And so this is gonna be a linked app. And then this is gonna be the URL to play the app. And so I've got the app playing here. I'm just gonna copy the URL and paste that in here and save it. And then the last thing we're going to do is here in properties, let's set an icon for the app as well. Now, in order to pin the app, then we need to take this enterprise application we've defined. And here in Active Directory, we'll go to user settings, enterprise applications. And we can select up to three applications to feature here at the bottom. So we'll add an application. There's our Bigfoot app and we'll add that. And now what that will do then is that will list it as one of a promoted or pinned app in the Office 365 portal. Now this can take up to an hour to show up. So we'll check on it here in a few minutes. And so after a little time passes, we come up here to the launcher menu and we see that Bigfoot Hunters is displayed here. And so for three apps, you can place them in this kind of this high profile real estate here, although your users can still unpin them. And so they're not forced there, but it does at least promote them so that they're visible.
And then the final way to promote an app is to, you could create a new tab here on my apps, which is myapps.microsoft.com, which is a new portal for, uh, for your users to discover any app within M365. And so to do that, we come into uh, Active Directory again, and we create a new collection. And so under Enterprise Applications, Collections, and we'll create a collection called Power Apps, or we can target this towards specific user groups and so on. Now in here, we can add our Bigfoot app into this collection. Owners for the collection, user groups that have access, which will see it. And so again, we'll add in our Bigfoot Hunters group. They'll see this collection. And so that way this won't pollute everyone. They don't have access to this app or don't need this collection. And then now when we come into myapps.microsoft.com, now I've got this second tab called Power Apps that has Bigfoot Hunters in there. So it's an easy way for people to come in and get a collection or get a grouping of the apps that you want to see or that might be especially relevant to them. And it's worth noting that these collections also show up under office.com. So the regular office browser, if we come down here to office, all apps, and then explore your apps, we get taken to this screen here. And so you'll notice these collections also show up here. Here's power apps and Bigfoot Hunters is here. So if you had multiple power apps, they'd be, you get this nice prominent real estate right above all apps so that your users can see them easily. Now for each of these three methods, they differ in how users will see your apps and the permissions and method that you'll use to implement them. A summary is here in this chart and in the description of this video are more detailed instructions. Thanks for watching PowerCat Live. Now before you go, we are making new videos every week. Click this Microsoft logo to subscribe and you'll be the first to see them. And look over here for a couple of videos that can make you a power platform expert.